Okay, right from the beginning. I'm just, I mean, click, click. I'm ready to go, y'all. Okay, um, we have a lot to go through. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, go back and watch part one and then watch part two. This is the other half of the little golden book that I did and it's done. This thing is a huge book. So I just want to get that out right now. So on the, to start a uh, bell with, uh, this is the second um, signature. I've already showed you the first half of the signature, which is not very much. Uh, I didn't show very much, in other words. So, we got a lot to go. There's a lot here. Uh, so, there is the necklace pendant that I wore a lot. My daughter even wore a lot. So, it's um, a rose. And it, it goes with her. You'll know about it if you know the Beauty and the Beast. So, this pocket here I made. The bow is to represent her bow and her hair. Kind of like I did with Marie from the Aristocats on that little, yeah. Anyways, in this pocket, and this matches together. They're to go together. And there's a pocket here. And there's stickers in here that represent her, you know. And then there's a pretty little yellow flower because she wears a yellow dress at the end. That's the reason why. And at the back, there's a beautiful red or pink rose. And this is glitzed up because I want it to be pretty. And you can write on the back as well. And you can write on the back back there too if you want to. But I get plenty of places to write on. <laughs> you won't need to mess up your back pages if you if you want to. If you don't want to, I mean. This I did with y'all. This all goes together. And these are all, all these pictures are from like golden books, like I said. And um, the ones that are shiny are from ones like Disney related though. They may not be from exactly from the Little Golden Books, but they are from Disney, you know, company. But yeah. These are not. This one right here is not. And these aren't. And neither is that. <laughs> neither is these. This one here is from Little Golden Books. Little Golden Book. Uh, these are from the cards of Disney's. You know, I mean... This is from a book that was rehashed from the Little Golden Books, and it's supposed to have, like, little affirmations to it, I guess. And I just wanted to turn it into a book. But, yeah, this came from a Little Golden Book. That came from all these pages. Most of them came from Little Golden Books. And these things are filled with stickers, dealing with the characters of that area. Yeah. And uh, this is a tag journal card that I made. And here's the pocket that it goes in with some infirmaria, the more stickers of the princesses. The only one I didn't do was, I didn't add, was her. Because I don't have a little golden book of hers. <laughs> That's only the reason why. Otherwise, she'd have been in here too. But yeah, everybody's on there except for her. I didn't have one of the books. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find the Hunchback of Notre Dame, a Dom, whatever you want to call it. Um, um, I didn't have quite a few like Donald Duck ones I just recently found those and those are so vintage I do not want to tear them up I actually want to keep those for my grandkids if I ever have any but yeah anyways we have this and I like that there because it actually this green brings you know anyways yeah and plus this too I guess this is vintage this is in this came from a 1960 around there um, um, cookbook. It was down in there. And it was a, quite a few of them. And they were from 19, not like 1968, I think. Somewhere around there. But anyways, it reminded me of the green that's in this. That's why I put that in there with that. They're glittered up because they're fixing to turn into, they're going, they're magical. And they're going to turn back into the human forms that they were. Yeah, this is a pocket as well. Something I created there. Just a place to journal. And this is, um, a, another kids book that I went with because uh, that I made something out of I didn't want it to go to waste so I made a whole bunch of pockets and stuff out of it I actually think I have a video where I made all this stuff from this but anyways it has a little mouse their mouse that uh, mice and the the color scheme is so close together so that's the reason why I went with it and this is on there because it holds this in the mother and the Wait, the old woman in the sh the old woman who lived in a shoe and then you have this little thing that's about it and it's vintage I found it this is vintage this is a uh, cigarette card and it's a mouse to a rat too and I don't know what you'd call them this came from Carol Tenson uh, from Carol Tenson's channel you can go check her out she shows how to make these um, 
but hers was uh, butterflies. And I've done two times I've used this idea. Once in my uh, Molly journal and then, then, then this one too. I don't think I've done it in any other of the journals that I can think of. So, yeah. And I did this because of the dragonflies. You never have a purpose for those, those shiny dragonflies. So I used them in here because of him. And that's why that's there. If you don't know, that's the rescuers. Okay, and then we add the Little Mermaid in the pockets over here on this side, as you can see. And there's stickers in there for her, representing her. These, this is called a kissing stamp uh, barn door. I learned this from watching Pam over at the Paper Outpost. I thought it was really cute, so I went with it and made a couple of them for myself. And it's a barn door. When it opens like that, that's what they call a barn door. And you can journal on the inside. You can make your pocket up here or over here. Or you can even make it here or do a hiding pocket this way. I've done a hiding pocket like that for my journals. But yeah. And this one has it over here on this side. Okay. And then I need to do that right now. No, I can't do that. I got this video to do. Darn it. I need to fix that. Um, anyways, I made a, um, what do you call that? A notepad here. I love making notepads. Can't you tell? Uh, and then this just reminds me of her fishtail because I love that coloration. And then we have a see-through pocket where you can see all your stuff in there. See, and that's vellum. Only thing is, is I really hate that for anything else, but for this, it turned out well because it looks like water. So it went well for me. It says, "Once upon a time." This is a journal card for you of their wedding day. And you just got little stickers and stuff from the journal that I had left over. And I just stuck it down in here. Yeah. And, yeah. And that came from there, too. This is a, um, another, um, coffee, uh, not coffee, uh, cigarette, cigarette card. <laughs> My brain ain't there right now. But anyways, that's what that is, and I turned it into, it's actually a replica, this one is. I got it from somebody, I think it came from Pam, I'm not sure. Anyway, it, I turned it into a paper clip, a cover, you know, like a cover for a paper clip to hide the paper clip. And this is just a place to, you know, write as well. This is Pocahontas, there's your pool tab, and it turns into an extended page. You have a, um, uh, what do you call these, a uh, I just talked about it. Uh, notepad. This is a little tuck spot right here. I love the coloration. It just worked really well. And with the, yeah. And this works perfect there. And it can be wrote on on the back as well. There we go. There's the little bird. And there's the grandmother tree that the piece comes from. From this. That's why I used that. Because I didn't have... Hardly, this is the only thing I have dealing with Pocahontas that's in paper form dealing with any little golden books. And I love Pocahontas. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the closest I have to Grandmother Tree. And this tree here, I turned, it's the closest that I had to where I could turn it into a Weeping Willow. And that's why it looks like it does because I turned it into the Weeping Willow. And her face is right there. I colored him to make him match the little bird there. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Okay, this is that vintage um, lace as well. This, I love this paper, but yeah, I don't have any more. This is it. It's a little journaling spot. I like the coloration for this page and for Lion King as well. And then there's the card and then there's a vintage card up here. This is a tuck spot here. Actually, this one's more of a pocket. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can see. So this one's a pocket and it's that long. And then there's this one, which is a tuck. It's as far as it goes. And then you have this one that's a pocket tuck kind of thing as well. So there's that. This is Lion King, little golden book, piece of paper for you to write on. And I wanted to make sure it had that tribal look to the back. So, and then there's a paper clip there holding this in because it wants to fall out every time. This is a little notebook as well that I created. I think every one of them has a notebook in them. <laughs> that holds that in. This is a scene from one of the uh, bigger books that I found um, of, the, of uh, the Lion King. That's in the Little Golden Books, believe it or not. It's a bigger, more softer book. It's not one of the kinds that has the little edging to it. This one ain't. The one you find them bigger like this. They're the more softer Little Golden Books. Like the reproduction ones. 
that's kind of what those are because they're bigger anyways that's what that one is and I turned it into a pocket back here and there's a lot of ephemera down in there along with a bookmark and then this opens up and then you have all this ephemera to, to play with as well it's a pocket from the little golden boot <laughs> and then there's this 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 ribbon I went with because it looks like like either cheetah or like a leopard, you know, kind of print. So I went with that and I like it being gold because he is the Lion King. So, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, got a piece of something. I don't want to be on the floor. My cat will eat it. Um, but yeah. I don't have anything on the inside of these. Why does that? Oh, the tie actually went down inside. That's how tight I had to get these because it's so thick. This is Bambi. This is the closest thing that I could find of Bambi and Femria. So I turned it into a paper clip. And then we have, I have nothing on him. So I had to make something, y'all. And yes, you can already see it. My draw, my illustrations suck. <laughs> I'm an artist, but I cannot do, I'm traditional art. I'm not um, illustration art. Let's see, where did I put them? I'll show you the difference. Here's just some of my artwork. <laughs> This is my painting, and that's my artwork. This is this is graphite. I'm a painter <laughs> and an artist with with uh, drawing, you know, traditional stuff, you know. Um, yeah, I drew that with a pen, which I don't do very well. And I did the Inktober because it helps me get out of that mindset of being scared of the Inktober. This is what I'm all about: artwork, like with graphite. I love drawing. Yeah, little house. <laughs> I drew her out. Everybody likes her on my timeline on, on YouTube, on Facebook, I mean. And then there's that. Paintings. That. But to draw what I'm fixing to show you that I drew was very, very out of my norm. It was very uncomfortable because I'm not an illustrator, like I said, I am not an illustrator. Okay, I did this with a, I'm trying to hide it so you can't see it yet. I did this with a stamp that I created, a round stamp, and just did the smile in the eyes, you know. <laughs> this is the illustration I did. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, please. Oh, I tried. Anyways, that's what I tried to illustrate. I drew it out, and then I took and line art it, and then I just, like, just started coloring it in. That's why you see the lines on his shirt. I just used regular pen for that. And I was like, that ain't working. So I used my paint pens for everything else. Yeah. And Sharpie for it too. So, yeah. And it's a journal card. And I did sign it. So if you do like it and you want it, there you go. I didn't color that in because... <laughs> don't do this. Anyways, I don't have anything gypsy or anything related to that dealing with him. You know, because there is gypsy in it. So this is what I put on there is a boho... A ribbon that I got at the resale store and I'm so happy because when I do my next boho journal I'm gonna have some really cool stuff to use but yeah this goes down in here like that there you go I'm trying to get that back underneath there that's to protect this the picture because I know somebody's gonna you know Maybe somebody will fancy it. Anyways, there's a pocket here, and this extends out as well. It's paper clipped right now, but you have infirmary in here. This is from the original movie of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I thought I'd throw that in there. Cards about German talking and stuff, and how you can talk about stroll, a stroll. Vintage uh, cigarette card. This is a vintage uh, ad. These are just... Oh, I'm just going to take that one off. Um... Just a pocket, and in that pocket is got. Let's pull it out. It's got a picture, and it has a, an old card that I not old card, a uh, card from uh, Pam at the Paper Outpost. It's a freebie that she gave me. She gave us all, and I just loved it, and I thought it would be cute on there. And then on the other side, you can journal. It's just it looks just like this. Uh, it's a pocket with a page like this on the other side. Sorry, I know, but like I said. If I undo everything, it'll take me forever to put all this stuff back together. So, that's why. So, moving on. Uh, you can journal here. You can journal back there if you want to. You can journal on this. This is a handmade paperclip that's covering... Well, it's, a, it's, it's covering it. 
This is a vintage piece back here. It's actually supposed to be tucked in there, I thought. There we go. I've done this this video, this journal, show this journal like five or no, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times. <laughs> this is my eighth time, nine times. So yeah, I'm really getting tired of making videos today. <laughs> And this is a, just a journal trying to show it. So um, we got this much to go. Hopefully I can get it done in, in 15 minutes. Okay, so this is vintage. Um, I made it into, it's a bag. And I made it into a car, I mean a, a tag. And I actually loved it so much I photographed it for myself. This is a vintage piece right here of a grocery store. If I'm not mistaken, it's like 1910. Might be even older than that. I can't remember. Anyways, it's back there for the buyer. They get to look at that. And this is from the Little Golden Book. You can journal here. Little Golden Book stuff, you know. This is vintage here. Uh, went on the end of a very old dress. Um, uh, Ugly Duckling. And this is some work that I did again. This is the 3D effect. Where, I don't know if you can hear that. These are just papers. I actually show you how to do this. Um, but I just took the background and the foreground and put that there. I didn't want to do anything dealing with him because he is a representation of Disney. This is a duck dealing with him being a duck. I put that here. This is a vintage piece. It's a cigarette card. Oh, I did sign this too, by the way. Then you can journal here. And these are all, this is uh, dealing with the little golden books from the pages. This is a journal card. These are all uh, stickers that are from just, you know, wherever. And, yeah, a little golden book as well. And this is a vintage letter from 1920. That you can read. It's in there, and you can read it. This is a um, tag that has a little bit of the story on it, and then you can journal on the back. And it has that. And then there's a sticker for you to use. Uh, this is from the little golden book, so is this. And then you can write on the back. It's got my paper that I'm, I uh, did myself, stained and everything. And there's stickers of um, Cinderella on the back of that as well. And then we have a tuck spot here with a big uh, Cinderella. It's, I left it all together, and it's all dealing with Cinderella, and there's stickers. And there's stickers here as well. I love to give you stickers because it's, you know, I, what am I ever going to use these with? When it comes to my other journals. So I might as well give them to you dealing with this. And uh, there's other things. Like these little things you can journal on. Then this that I did. This is my eco dyed paper. And I did. Th this was a uh, stencil. And the stencil. the I used something like ink. And it went through. And so did this go through. And yeah. This is one of my sticker papers that I made from different, you know, like Digi and with uh, stamping and all this good stuff. So that's something there. But this is my eco dyed paper. And because the ink went through, I had to do the same thing on this side, ink it out, and then put another piece of paper over top of that to hide that. And then, yeah, and that's where the believe comes from on the charms. This is just tuck spot, tuck spot, in case there's something tall you want to put in here, you know, it will stay. And these are just journaling cards. This is a million dollar bill. It's fake, of course. Because <laughs> it has an 800 number right there that definitely tells you that it's fake. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't be trying to cash that out, please. Because then you'll go to jail. And I don't want you to do that. So, yeah. And then this little paper clip here is holding a handmade uh, cutout. I don't have the machine to do it. The little little thing. I don't have that to make these, so I had to do it by hand. But when you scratch them, oh, it smells so pretty. These are actually liners for uh, your dresser drawers. And I just loved it because it has the roses all over it. And it's just so pretty. Just so very pretty. And it goes back here. And I just love these little paper clips. It's like a bulldog clip. Anyways, and this pocket is from an old book and it has a you know pretty decoration and everything that's indicative of what it's called. And you get some stuff. There's a back pocket behind the pocket. And it's just filled with things that you can journal on. And here is the little golden book page of uh, Cinderella. The front, you know, the front page to it. 
that starts it up and then I glittered it up to make it look magical and then you get two tags and these came from the book in the same order you see them at and I glittered her up because she's magical uh, because of the dress not because of herself and him he's just playing with gold around him and everything because he's a king or prince I mean and their um, their clocks his is 915 because the party is just starting for him for her she's a little late all women are a little late so anyways uh, she's all she's thinking about is 12 o'clock she's got to be out of there at 12 o'clock so her says 12 o'clock even though it's nine <laughs> So, if you get this book, then you'll understand why the times are different on there. I'm pretty sure you would have got it anyway. But there are also, on the back, this is what it looks like, and it's a little glittery. so pretty. It's to represent her dress. And then you can journal on the back. Oh, hang on. Okay. This is a tuck spot, and inside of it, you got Ephemeria. This is a page is from, like very very old and when you take it out understand it's going to fall apart it's that old I don't have anything for it to go in to protect it either so if you find something to protect it then put it in it but yeah there you'll find out that the pieces are falling off of it it's just that old and I do understand that some paper will actually fall apart it doesn't mean it's old it just means it's gotten sun damaged or something like that but this is actually it says on the bottom of one of the pages 19 something so I thought I'd share that with you. Okay, and then we have a tuck spot over here. I'm going to keep this paper under order here. Okay. And so the tuck spot here, at an angle, um, has a, a tag in it. You can write on the back back there. It's just uh, my coffee stained paper. This is a vintage card here, a cigarette card of trees in Br Britain. And it's a either a tea card or a coffee card. I mean, a tea card or a uh, cigarette card. <laughs> I can't be for sure which one. And then you can journal here. These are my butterflies that I showed you how to do. This is uh, also something I do on my channel that uh, I learned from watching another lady, uh, Pam, over the Paper Alt Post. And this is just some real pretty paper. I loved it together. It matches this. But yeah, so I just stuck that in there to give them something to write on. And then we're in Mary Popkins. We're almost done. And this is Mary Popkins. And I just fussy cutted her out of one of the larger books. And that's how they ended up. And I put this lace on there for her. Because I just see her having that kind of lace. And of course we're at Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And I just made these little pockets out of this excess paper. That's from a extender page. Not extender page, but a extra because I made I added a page so yeah on this second anyway so there's a pocket here here and here this is more of a tuck spot this is a deep pocket right here and this one I'm not, I'm trying to get it back there. this is kind of deep but not too the stickers of Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse couldn't have got that better because both of them <laughs> and that's who they are and this is a uh, seal from Walt Disney World. And there's the gang. And this one is another notepad. And you can journal over here as well. Turn the page. And we have an extended page. Tab pulling out. It says Wisdom. And he's it's from that movie. And on the inside is from a little bit more from uh, um, Alice in Wonderland. I had to look at the name. And so I just added these pieces to it so that you'd have places to write as well. Okay, you just flip them up. You will find Chester, uh, the Chester cat. He will show up. He's in a special spot. <laughs> and then this is my um, coffee stain paper that I really love. And you can add to it. You can write on it if you want to, but you can also add a pocket if you want to. It's just this book is so full already I can't add any more to it if I add a pocket here it's just gonna make it thicker so anyways this page here has this on there and it's one of those and it changes and on the back it's like that and it's and it's flat or this has got the grooves so if you flip it over put it behind a page that you're gonna write on here it'll make it smooth and you can just write smoothly but yeah that's why that's there and then there's the end we're at the end 
Can't believe it. I did it in two videos, y'all, and I've got six minutes to go. <laughs> Woohoo! I really didn't think I was going to make it through this one. But yeah, I mean, for just two videos. So there's that, and this is how thick it is. It's very thick. I don't know if I ever did the estimation on it. Okay, squeezing it as close as I can. I'm going to hold it with this one in measure. So squeezing it is, I'm trying to, come on, go right here, like that. So it is four and a half with a gator mouth tightly pushed. If you let go, this gator mouth is going to turn into almost 12 inches. <laughs> it's nine inches. That's loose. And I'm not joking you. That's, that's not that loose loose. <laughs> There's a lot there. And it has two signatures. The book is six and a half this way, a little over six and a half. And it's eight inches this way. That I know because of the papers. And the spine is two and like a little over two and a half. I mean, a little over two. It's like in between two and two and a half. It's like two and a quarter inches wide this way. You have, like I said, two signatures. Why does that look so loose? Hmm, don't like that. Anyways, and there is the, what do you call it? The um, dragonfly and the, uh, your, what do you call it? Jump ring for your spine jewelry to go through. And with that said, I guess this will be up probably by, it'll be up by tomorrow. I guarantee you that. Um, cause I need to take a break and I've got to take pictures of it and everything still. And I still have to write all the information I need to write into the description for this journal as well on my Etsy store. But yeah, just keep your eyes out on my Etsy store, which will be in the description below area and with that said I guess that's all I got to say and besides like the video share it with your friends uh, with your family whoever like you know get other people into doing this kind of stuff it's fun it really really is uh, laying down this is how wide it is <laughs> just laying there so you get a lot of good stuff with this and it's a very thick journal um, I don't know how I'm gonna send this because this is going to be a wide journal, and I don't think I have any boxes that's this wide that they're going to believe that it's actually a book. Because uh, when I send my, my books, I send them as books. And that's what I tell the lady, and she marks it as books. And, yeah, it's just easier for me to do it that way and all. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to say anything that I shouldn't say because I'll end up having to do these videos again, and I'm not going to do that. So, thank you all for watching. And keep your eyes out on my shop, my store. If you want to buy this journal, it will be up in my store. And the infirmary will probably be pulled out so that it will flatten down. Because it will flatten down. But I'm going to put it into envelopes that, des that describes where that needs to go in the journal for you. In case you want to know. Okay? So, I will do that. But I have to reduce this down to where it will flatten down a lot better. <laughs> so I can send it to you. So, I'm going to end the video now. Again, like the video, share the video, hit the bell uh, right beside the... If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, this is the kind of stuff we make. I do other things on this channel as well. So, yeah. Um, but hit that bell notification. It'll tell you when I'm uploading another video. And I guess that's it. My Etsy channel is... Got to grab it. This is my Etsy channel, just in case. And with that said, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day, and enjoy the process. Bye! <laughs> I'm just so happy that I finished this journal now. <laughs>